so uh, what we're doing here today we've got a very very small we might is it 485 movement so it's a ladies omega 485 it's incredibly small you can see for scale against will's fingers how small you can just see it's the same it's size as my pinky nail just minute this movement but still spectacularly lovely up up close uh, the hairspring is shot to bits on it uh, yeah. and that's the main problem with us when we're servicing this so uh, we've been out uh, and sourced a a second hand one but one in immaculate condition here that we got on ebay um so we're now going to just replace them so i'm just going to switch around so you can see what we're doing so what are you actually doing okay. right now so right here we're doing something really simple and easy the hairspring shot so i'm going to let it hang so this is the old one mm -hmm. and there's a little screw here yep that holds the stud yep So you just, just loosen that. that screw and then push the uh, stud out. Here he came out. Now you just see that the stud is out and then there's a gate there. So we got to get the hairspring out of the gate. Now even though even though we um, have a hairspring that's messed up we don't want to destroy the gate because it's something we can keep for parts just no no case. no the, just try the gate is important because that's where the hairspring passes through so i'm showing you that the terminal length of the hairspring came through that gate so now i can lift the hairspring out so because you found the hairspring and balance cheap enough it beats having to straighten that hairspring, which was just the job from hell. It was the job from hell. And by the time I could get to it, you had already bought a yes, a uh, hairspring. So now we are going to be careful. So this is the new one we've sourced. And, and I'm hoping you can see that the stud will fall right in the hole. And I'm going to bring my oiler over and kind of nudge that stud in the hole right there. And in again, lo and behold, she went in. So now, kind of a little trick to holding this. So it's tiny. So I'm just going to grip this like this. Pivot it around. Now I'm holding it tight uh -huh. with my tweezer, and I'm going to turn that screw gently. And that just relocks, locks it up, and tight, and attaches it, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm tightening down the stud. Now, when the when the balance is in the watch, we can adjust that, and we'll show you in future videos how we adjust the height of the stud. And I'm going to show you all the secrets of watchmaking that you never get in another video. And these are things that when I watch videos, I'm going, wait a minute. Why isn't this guy telling me this? You know, because these are the things that are important to me when I'm doing really sensitive work. I'm using my brass tweezer to hold the, the balance down. And now I'm going to take that gate. It's a hairspring gate. I'm going to turn them around 90 degrees to lock that hairspring in. And now I can tell using my 3D vision, if I put the balance in, in the level, that your new hairspring's in good shape. You see how it all looks? Flat. Concentric, flat, equidistant. symmetric, equidistant, yeah. even. You know, as you get practiced, see right now the, uh, the upper pivot mm. is sitting in his jewel. And that's 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 some of your diagonal shake right there. Watch. So he's comfortable there. the The end of the hairspring is in the gate. And now I'm going to set aside the balance, and we're done. And then we'll move on to the video part two of disassembling the the watch. Four eight five. 
Yeah. 45. You're all set. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, please like and subscribe, uh, and we're going to do some other videos on the restoration of this watch uh, over time. I'm going to do. Where's the movement gone? I just want to see here. the movement one more time. Okay, now uh, this is where I want you to have it's it. It's just so small. I know, but why don't it's you wonderful. why don't you learn on a on a.